Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and welcome to this speed build video of my live stream of Planet Zoo building a ring tilt lemur island habitat. And I could choose to have my own face at the point where you can see me and Sylv right now, but I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. It's so freaking hot this week, and it's like, oh, <laughs> I'm not prepared yet to go more on camera, but I will do that in the future. For those who don't know, my name is The Lady Designer, and feel free to subscribe, of course if you want to see more of Planet Zoo in the future, it's gonna be really excited. I'm really, really hyped for this game, like especially since we've played this at Gamescom last week. It was an amazing journey and the game is so, so good already and I will get back to that in a minute. But before we go, I'm not really going into a really good schedule the next coming days. I'm preparing my gaming room, office room, however you want to call it. So because right now I'm still recording in my living room, which is not really the easiest thing to do when other people live in your house. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So we're preparing a different room in our house so we can set up my computer there and I have like my own room to record whenever I want for you guys so that is really exciting I'm really looking forward to that so that's why the schedule will be a bit off still but hopefully in a few days everything is set like the most important thing we still need to figure out is how we're going to get internet in that room so we have to probably get like a hole in the wall to get the cable through so that's gonna be really challenging still but it's gonna be fine so yeah, this speed build of Planet Zoo. This build is like only a little bit more than one hour. I didn't have that much time. Of course, the whole video just in slow-mo <laughs> is also at the channel if you want to check it out. But yeah, like uh, the fencing tool. Let's start with the fencing tool. The fencing tool is just so good. I honestly didn't expect it. In this build, you can't really tell because if this build we didn't have all the options you had at like the all the other computers where people from Gamescom could play the game for like 20 minutes but you can do so much with these fences like you can make them really high like seriously really high or like really low you can have windows on all the edges like you can make longer fences shorter fences and you can have like curved tops which are really good I really love those and of course you will have like the one-sided glass or the two-sided glass you have I don't know how to call it but you can have add like a thing on top of it so like some animals cannot climb over the fence so that is really good and uh, there are just so many options I really never expected it to be this good like seriously to be this amazingly good and obviously as you can see like those blue lines those are like invisible fences so when you have animals that cannot swim in the water and don't like water you can use just like a I'm doing right now like water as a fence or a barrier that they won't go over to so that is really awesome I really love that feature also this bridge I'm not really sure if you can see it in this speed build really well but this bridge can be used by your staff so your staff will walk over it to the island we were really curious about that because we had no idea if they would be able to do that but they can so that is really neat so they go with the poover and they go to the island and I think is it sucky or is it blowing away the poop? I don't know, I'm not really sure. <laughs> but it's just an amazing feature and all those small little details, it's just so good. And like these climbing stuff, I'm going to use a lot at my Planet Zoo series. These are just some um, blueprints you can add, but obviously every log you see and every platform, you can, you can move away or you can create your own huge climbing stuff. So it, the, I, I just... I just can't believe it. It's just so crazy good. So yeah, I'm really excited to work on this. Also, you have like vines and stuff you can put on your fences or at like the structures you're building, the climbing areas, or maybe even trees. They can all use it. If your animals are able to climb, then they will be able to use the trees. They will be able to use the logs. They will be able to use the vines. They will be able to use everything. And I still can't believe how they managed to 
do that. It's so freaking good. I'm just so hyped for this game and like the foliage you got in the game and like all the trees and flowers and all the bushes they're so good everything is just already perfect and remember as you can see in the right top corner this is alpha so this is just an alpha build but in my opinion it worked already so good and so well and if this is only the alpha I, I don't even know what to expect in like a full launched game it's so crazy it's amazingly detailed and so much in depth like you can I don't know if you can see it in this one. I did do two other live streams. The first live stream is really focusing on gameplay. So I was joined by Bo Marit. She is the lead community manager of Frontier. And she was sitting next to me, I think, for like the first 20 minutes. And I was really happy that she did because I really wanted to focus on gameplay because I heard that a lot of streamers were just moving around in the park and just looking at all this stuff. And I was like, you know what? I think many people just would love to see some some real gameplay so I had I think two hours during that live stream where we did a lot of the gameplay so many streamers had a lot of animals dying and I managed to only have one hippo dying if I remember correctly so I think I did pretty well for like the very first time ever to play the game. It was just so good but there are so many things you have to uh, take care of to be uh, make sure that your animals won't die. So yeah it was really challenging but so much fun to really take care of the animals and to make sure they're happy and that their habitats are good and yeah it's still it's still an alpha build so a lot of things like I think the speed of the game was faster so you can show more in like these preview builds but I'm pretty sure that when we will get like the beta or the full released game that you will have a slower time so not like we, we got like a lot of baby booms and you have like an anti anti-conception option I forgot the word already it's such a hard word for me being Dutch <laughs> uh, but like like some kind of anti-conception so that your animals won't get pregnant and those kind of things but they didn't work so at some point I had like I don't know maybe 10 or 20 baby tortoise and like a lot of baby wolves and like all the animals started to be super unhappy because there were too many animals in the habitat so yeah there's there there are still some bugs and and some things weren't working but overall the game is just so good already like all the staff rooms and like the vet room and and it also looks so good from the inside and like the protesters they also did a great job with like protesting on everything where they were unhappy about like not taking good care of your animals and where you have to look after for them and uh, it's just it's so much in depth and I really never expected it to be so crazy like this like seriously it's so good I just I, I have like a smile from ear to ear like oh my god this game is going to be the best zoo game we have ever seen I'm so sure of it and I think this game is seriously going to blow up once it gets out because oh my if this is only the alpha build guys and ah oh, I just I just I don't know what to say it's just so amazingly good and I am so pleasantly surprised about all the features we will get like like putting down rocks like I, I thought like oh yeah they can't climb that of course they can climb it <laughs> so yeah at one point they just climb over the rocks and they were out of the uh, enclosure so yeah it's really important to make sure that you give your animals no opportunity to get out of the enclosure and for example trees you can't put trees with climbing animals too close to the fences because else they will be able to climb through the tree over your fence everything is thought of when developing this game and at one point during gamescom i met johnny watts he is i think the creative chief of frontier he has been working at frontier for like a long 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 time like back in the days when they developed roller coaster tycoon 2 if i remember correctly and also with like elite dangerous like the very first elite dangerous and stuff so and he was like 
like he had like that shimmering in his eyes you know like oh my god this is the zoo game they wanted to create for so many years and they had like so many wishes like if we're going to create like the perfect zoo game what do we want to get in and they were just he was just so passionate about the game and you can tell like everything you want to see in a zoo i'm just and he didn't confirm that but i'm just talking with him i'm just a hundred percent sure that we will get everything in this game that we want to be in this game well, okay obviously maybe not everything like if you you go to a very realistic pod not everything is possible like when they transport the animals from the enclosure to the vet like with the little box like yeah you could say like oh yeah i want it to be super realistic when they get like a truck or anything and then move the animals yeah that will be cool but you know it's it, there have to be some kind of lines in order to do stuff or not but like for creating the zoo how the animals behave how the staff behaves how the weather works how beautiful the snow falls down on trees how the tips of their leaves are like less with snow than on top of the tree or underneath the tree how the rain looks on the wooden structures it's just mind-blowing seriously i think this game is going to be perfect when it launches and I feel I really want aviaries and I really want aquariums and we don't know anything about that yet but looking at how many details they looked after looking at what the animals can use and what they are able to I'm so sure we will get some way of aviaries and some way of aquariums I just feel this game is really going to blow us away even more when it comes out and I feel really bad if it's not going to be in the game maybe it's gonna be a DLC or anything like that but I just really have a feeling we're going to have a game that will last for years and years for so much fun and so much creativity and so much to learn like the educational part we haven't seen much of that yet like only like the protesters saying like oh yeah you're not taking good care of your animals or anything like that but like with the zoopedia and all the stuff you can learn about the animals I think this is really going to be the best zoo game ever and I'm not over reacting i think it's really going to be a lot of fun i didn't expect it to be this good and it's going to be even more amazing when it comes out like also if you can see that little ring-tailed lemur sitting on one of the climbing areas like i put down some of the people asked me in the chat like can you put down like that hay bedding somewhere on top to see if they would use it and they did and i wasn't really sure about that the only thing that wasn't working yet was like a feeding tray so that cat being unfresh food or I don't know it, I think it was just a bug that it didn't work out I'm pretty sure that something like that would also work out that you could have like a wooden feeding tray on top of one of the climbing areas I'm pretty sure that should be able to work like else they wouldn't really make a wooden one I think they would just make like the round plates or anything oh yeah gosh there's so much to talk about and I just really I really want to do a live stream as soon as my office is completely completely ready to have like a Gamescom after party so we can talk more relaxed about everything we have seen and everything that we can expect for Planet Zoo, how everything works. So I really hope you to see you guys there and then we can kind of celebrate like my new office and have some fun and um, yeah, I think just just to close this i think planet zoo if you're doubting i can i get that like a lot of people are like you know what i just want to see the game first and then i want to play it and then i will judge and that's totally fair but I feel this is going to be the best zoo game ever and I really hope you guys feel the same way about that and uh, we just have to wait and see it's the 24th of September we will get the beta till 8th of October and then launch will be at the 5th of November so I'm really excited for that and I really hope you guys are too and make sure to subscribe of course if you want to see me building in Planet Zoo and we're going to play Planet Zoo like uh, just a let's play and I'm also going to stream 
in Planet Zoo probably a lot, maybe a bit also on my Twitch channel. So yeah, I really hope to see you guys and it's going to be amazing. So yeah. Uh, lastly, I really want to thank all my faith members for your support and all the new members we got during the live streams last week. I really appreciate that. So thank you so much for Joel, Charlotte, Lewis King, C Gamer, and Mackie85 for becoming a faith member. And also a big thank you to Paul Harrison and Herman Harden. You guys are amazing for being such a great support. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you all in the next one. Bye guys.